Hello, I'm Kathleen O'Sullivan Fortin with ALD Connect. I wanted to take a few minutes to welcome everyone to the 2020 Annual Meeting in Patient Learning Academy. First, I wanted to say how thrilled we are that we have more than 400 attendees from representing more than 35 countries. It's a truly exciting opportunity for us to exchange information, to meet, to support each other, and to help advance a cure to ALD and AMN. I wanted to point out that the meeting this weekend will be in Zoom format. So if you're not familiar with Zoom, and if you don't know if the device you're using requires you to download Zoom, I would invite you to familiarize yourself with the free platform and be, so that you can be ready for the programming. Um, you'll receive an agenda with individual Zoom links for each, for each session. And all you'll have to do is click from link to link um, to let yourself in to the sessions. I will point out that most of the sessions will be done in Zoom webinar format. What does that mean? It means you'll be able to see the presenters and all the materials that they're sharing with you, but you won't be able to see yourself. You will be able to ask questions. You can email them ahead of time if you know the subject matter or during the webinar, you can use, you can take advantage of either the chat function or the Q&A function, whatever is available in the specific webinar. We'll be watching those boxes and trying to get those questions to the presenters so that they can answer live. I will point out that we would ask you not to take pictures of the screens. We would ask you not to record the screens um, and let us take care of that. With a few exceptions, all the webinars and all the sessions are being recorded and so that you can replay them later. We're hoping our goal is to have them loaded up to our website and the ALD Connect YouTube channel within a week to 10 days. So be patient with us. This is new for all of us. I will also point out that there are a couple exceptions to what's being recorded, most notably the community calls. Um, anyone who's ever been familiar with one of our patient breakout sessions knows that we choose not to record them. Um, we're sorry for people that can't participate live, but we wanna make sure that we can uh, protect the confidentiality of all those sharing and to make sure that no one has to worry that something pops up again later on the internet. When you join these community calls, please mute yourself. And if you would like to speak and contribute, please either physically raise your hand or use the Zoom hand raise function that's found in the list of attendees at the bottom left corner of your device. I will also point out that normally community support calls are limited to just patients, but because this is a multi-stakeholder event, we really want to invite our friends from industry, our friends from research, our friends from clinical side to please join these sessions and know that your input is most welcome. Um, you know, I think it's one of the few opportunities we have when we meet for the annual meeting to really get all the different stakeholders together. And I think the community calls could benefit from a little expert advice. And um, I think the experts could benefit from hearing what's really troubling patients for each phenotype. I will also point out that there's a portion of Saturday afternoon where there are multiple webinars at the same time. Do not fear. As I've mentioned previously, these will be recorded and you can watch them later. Simply pick the one that appeals to you most and then know that you can go back within you know, a certain time frame once they're posted and you can watch them and you can experience all of them. We just knew that we had to make it possible to include as much information as possible during the weekend. And that meant that we people might have to make some choices in terms of live programming. Um, but they'll be posted again within a week to 10 days. And um, so you won't be missing out on anything. I also wanna point out that um, if you have any technical difficulties during the conference, please email them to info at aldconnect.org or raise a question um, in the chat boxes and we will see if we can get to you, but really in emailing info at aldconnect.org uh, would be a super way to reach out to us and let us know that you're having a difficulty. With that, I will just say, I'm, again, I cannot wait for this weekend and I'm so excited that all of you have been willing to take time out of your busy lives to join us for this exciting event. Be well and we'll see you soon.